All right, here we are, hole six. Let me take a look at this par five here. With the Apoc four. A little bit lighter clubs here. Let's see if we ever uh, grab the opponent. There we are. You know, I'm kind of leaning towards doing this myself. Trying to get this up there, maybe with a Berserker. I'd really like to land right around here. You can see where it's really open up here in the fairway. Looks like a POC 6 with Berserker. Probably going to land beyond that. Um, which just means that maybe... Oh, we'll have to see with that great ball. That may may leak into the rough. Yep, sure enough. I, I wasn't able to see where it landed, though. I, you know, it, I, I don't think it really matters if you land there. I don't think it's going to... Uh, really kill you or anything um well, biggest thing i'm worried about you know if i try to land here with a kingmaker i'm really gonna have to glide through here and you know really play this bottleneck too much so that's one of the main reasons that uh you know i do want to encourage am i really getting that light on these seven balls left of this wow that's crazy that is crazy Okay, so what I'm going to try to do here is, you know, I'm going to aim over here and then, you know, the wind should pull it a little bit more with all this curl that I'm using. So when I use all that curl, it should get it to land just a little bit more up, just, just to, man, that was probably about two rings light. So I am trying to get it to you know, aim over there towards the left and then curl it back. It looks like, you know, I pretty much probably made a mistake that you can't make on this hole. So you really do need to get that first bounce. Um, you got to get that correct amount of curl aim ratio. I may need to just kind of line that up a little bit better. Uh, I, I did it perfect on the other guide. So if you want to check that one out, um, it looks like I just got just a little bit too cavalier here. And it may have to do with, you know, how much shorter the ball's landing makes it a little bit tougher to judge. I can see with my opponents, you know, that two ring great ball was probably going to end up uh, being a costly, costly thing for him. And as you can see, yeah, this is, this is, this is a no-go. You need to make sure foremost that first bounce hits you probably have to avoid this bunker. You probably have to avoid the rough altogether. Um, you know, but with my first bounce, I'm thinking first bounce here, second bounce, third. So I'm going to just pitch up to here, try to get it to where I'm assuming you can essentially, you know, you should be able to get your ball up here. I don't want to waste this guide. So I'm assuming we can probably get to here even though it probably is going to be essentially a wasted guide anyway because um, if I recall, it was tough to aim at this one and we had to do more of a curl. I'm trying to remember. No, I think that might have been hole nine, maybe. Yeah, I think we can go straight at this one. Yeah. Yeah. So with where I'm trying to land, I don't want to land on this down slope. You can see that it's kind of changing the pitch. So we're going to land around here, a little bit more control. Need somewhere, maybe even just a little bit more. <laughs> 15 wins, you gotta be kidding me. So we are kind of towards mid club a little bit. I'm thinking somewhere around here, plus wind effect, mid-ish club. 14 rings. Mm, great ball. It's probably 14 and a half rings on a 15 something plus ball guide offset with perfect ball. Still a little bit light. So you can see how much that wind effect on something like a Berserker is actually going to cost you. It's very significant. As you can see, you know, I still go ball guide offset. 
I'm at mid-ish club, going that 14 and a half rings, which is probably pretty spot on, but I did great ball it to the left. However, even without that great ball, I didn't go enough wind effect. So it just goes to show you how much wind effect is actually there. And, you know, being able to go, you know, a pox six, a pox seven, to me, huge advantage there. Because if I can, you know, pull that shot off with more of a Titan or Kingmaker, um, it's going to be a much easier hole to be able to hold than having to go Berserker. I need to go Berserker because I really don't want to play around with that bunker on that second bounce. So I'm trying to get it to land as far as possible. Just got to get my alignment just a little bit better than I just did on that one. So use that as a, a starting point. Good luck with that hole. I'll see you guys on the next one.